Conservative pundits, talking heads, media outlets, and, and all the rest of them on that side are driving themselves insane trying to smear Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And to be honest, at this point, it's just getting funny because every smear they come up with against her backfires spectacularly. Last week, it was the video of her dancing uh, where her and her friends were recreating the dance scene from The Breakfast Club. They tweeted that out, shared it all over the place, trying to say like, look, this is her. This is the woman. Okay. So she had fun once in college doing something completely harmless. We're supposed to hate her for that. All it did was make people look at her and say, this is actually really cool and nice and wonderful. And we like her a little bit more now. So knowing that their first smear attempt has failed and, and all previous ones had as well, actually, uh, and that was not their first, the gateway pundit has come out with a new shocking story about Ocasio-Cortez. And this one might be the one that takes her down. And here it is. I'm going to read you the tweet that Jim Hoft, the gateway pundit, tweeted out. And he believes this is going to be the end of Ocasio-Cortez. Here's the tweet. Exclusive Yorktown elitist and Bronx hoaxer Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez went by Sandy well into college at Boston U. That's it. That's the shocking story. She had a nickname. That's going to end her career. It's gonna take her down. There is no redemption from having a nickname in college. Um, he did do a whole article on it, this Jim Hoft character, the Gateway Pundit. Um, and it's absolutely just as stupid as you could imagine. Let me read you a few lines from this. Last week, an anonymous classmate reached out to the Gateway Pundit and sent us several photo, uh, photos of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez from high school. Ocasio-Cortez graduated in 2007 with honors. Yorktown Heights is a middle to upper middle class community located in northern Westchester County. Because that's another attack. They're trying to say that, hey, she wasn't poor because her parents scraped enough money up to send her to a decent school where she pretty much was one of the poorest people there. Like that's verifiable. We know that that's true. They tried uh, months ago to tweet out a picture of her childhood home saying that that somehow showed that she wasn't uh, a poor person. But if you look at the picture, yeah, that wasn't an affluent person's home. Story continues, and much like other Democrat hoaxers, Bobby O'Rourke and fake Indian Liz Warren, Ocasio-Cortez went by Sandy well into college at Boston University. In fact, Ocasio-Cortez went by Sandy at least into her junior year at the university. Sandy from Yorktown became Alexandria from the Bronx. It was all a big scam. It actually ends with that phrase. It was all a big scam as if we've all somehow been hoodwinked because this woman went by Sandy instead of Alexandria. Now I've had plenty of nicknames throughout my life. I still have people who call me nicknames. Uh, thanks to <laughs> one poorly executed speech I had to deliver in college uh, for quite a while, people called me fruit man. I did a speech about how to pick out the correct fruit. Didn't go as planned. And so it uh, got me that unfortunate nickname. Does that hinder my credibility? Does that make me a liar or a fraud in any way? Absolutely not. Just like calling Beto O'Rourke Beto doesn't undermine his credibility any more than Ted Cruz not going by Raphael. That's what happens. It's a nickname. But these smears from these conservatives are absolutely hitting ridiculous levels because they are so obsessed with this woman. They can't get over it. And why is that? Because they view her as a threat. If they didn't think that she was a powerful woman who was capable of making the changes that she has promised to this country, they wouldn't spend another second even thinking about her. But her and many of these other incoming Democrats, Rashida Tlaib, they threaten the conservative power structure. And that is why they are quite literally grasping at straw here just to find something to smear these women with. And so far, 
every single attack has backfired spectacularly.